Uh, hello everyone, my name is Nguyen Hao Ying and I'm from Washington School, Class 7-5. So today I, I will talk about uh, Tesla future invention that will change your life. But before we get into a topic, I have one question for you. Have you ever been late for a very special appointment with your friends or with someone special to you? And you've always been late because of the transportation? And you ask yourself, is there any more faster transportation and more convenient? Well, say no more, I introduce to you the Hyperloop. The, the Hyperloop is not is a train, but it isn't any ordinary train. This train can travel at a very high speed thanks to the maglev and the vacuum pump. As you see here, the Hyperloop travels 760 miles per hour, faster than bullet trains and even faster than airplanes. This is uh, Elon Musk's idea of the Hyperloop concept was published in 2013. And like I said before, the Hyperloop work using two special devices, the maglev or the and the vacuum pump. But first we will discover about the maglev. The maglev or you could call the it magnet magnetic levitation uses two types of magnets, electromagnetics and permanent magnets. These magnets were put alongside the track and look at this picture right here. Same pole create repel and different pole attract to each other. These magnets were put at the bottom of the hyperloop too so it can create repel, lift the hyperloop and then move the hyperloop at a very high speed. Here is a fun and smart experience you can try at home. As you see here there are some Lego train Lego train and a Lego road and on the Lego there's some magnets. And a Lego train has some magnets, but if you stop holding the Lego train, it will get flipped out of roll like that. So how do we fix this problem? Well, we will have a claw at the bottom of the hyperloop, so that this will it will balance the hyperloop, so that the hyperloop won't get flipped out of road again. As we all know, an object traveling in a fluid such as air or liquid is acted by the truck by the track force but wait what is track force here are here is the equation of the track force and the graph of the track force relative to the velocity a small example is if the velocity is 10 times then the velocity square is 100 times which make the track force 100 times bigger but if the velocity is 1000 times, then the track force will be so high. So how do we decrease the track force then? I introduce to you to the second device, the vacuum pump. The vacuum pump can suck 99.9% of the air in the hyperloop, so there would be no air in the hyperloop, right? Yes, there would be no air, so there will be no air resistance and track force to stop the hyperloop. And it can help the high blue to travel at a very high speed. Now, what is this? And you may be asking me, don't worry, I got you. According to scientists' research results, the high blue uses a low energy compared to different transportation here. And thanks to the mag lift, the to lift the high blue and the vacuum pump to decrease the track force. The Hyperloop can travel 1,000 km per hour, which is really fast, even faster than one of the fastest airplanes in the world. In conclusion, the Hyperloop can create global relations, which help the other countries to work out with each other easier. And it can travel at a high speed, very convenient for you. So you don't. So the next time you go, you go to meet your friends, you, you won't be ever late again. And of course, it is very convenient. Unlike planes, you need to like take a ticket and you need to sit and wait for your turn. It will always be late, but the high blue is different. It can travel really fast, very convenient for you. So you won't ever be late for a very special meeting again. And it is safe to travel, which is, it is immune to natural disasters such as lightning strike or even like earthquake. And uh, it is low cost too. Unlike planes, it is very cost much like very much but the high blue is just the same cost as, as a plane so it won't be much cost thank you for listening to my presentation so have you have a good day